so much for joining me. This is a touch of tarot. I'm going to get right in today's reading, right into today's reading. I'm not sure what it's going to be about. Probably love is what I'm guessing. Uh, let's see what comes up from the cards. I day. So we're starting with the seven of wands. Oh, okay. I see exactly what's going on here. So it looks like your person is really upset about something right now. And it may be that they, first of all, feel like they've lost a chance at a beautiful love or also that they don't know what to do anymore. They want to come forward and have a fresh start. But I really see like this person, first of all, feels like they don't deserve a fresh start with you, like they've lost the love of their life. They also feel like you're going to bite their head off type of an energy here. I don't know if you can see there's a puppy here. This like, I just call it like a spiritual energy. And the puppy is going to bite this person that's coming to try and pet them. So this person's just lost. It's like they've emptied so many of their opportunities that they've had with you. It's like they don't even feel like they have another chance here, especially with the justice card. It's like, you know, they've done too much and they've also not done enough all at the same time. So today, this person is really in their head about you, um, which can actually lead to some great things because I feel like it's almost clearing up the blockages. Like this person has to decide, are they going to try to work something out or are they not? You know, doing this arguing in their mind um, was what I'm getting here. It's, it's a totally good vibe actually, right? So we have the King of Pentacles. And what I just got is like, things are not going this person's way right now in general. So this person could have other stresses in their life and it doesn't help that they also are missing you and that they also actually know that you're missing them. So there's something here with this where this person feels like so much time has passed and they are very aware that you are very connected to your heart chakra, to this connection, that you are missing them, that they may have... I don't know. It's almost like they sent you energy that can go nowhere. You know what I mean? Like, what's your energy going to do? This person wants a physical person to hug again, like the way they used to hug back in the days, right? So let's just put that there for now. So nothing's going this person's way. Yeah. And you know, here it is. The lights are on, but no one's home type of an energy here, right? So this person, I don't know if this person has already come and tried to um, bring some clarity with the sun card here or try to, I don't know, explain themselves, explain where they've been. But I do feel like if they have already come, you've already been like, leave me alone. And when this person looks for you, you may no longer be sending out the vibe that you're missing them. You may not even be home. You may have gone traveling. And now this person's like, oh no, where are they going? Right? Um, wow. That's interesting. So with the seven of cups, this is this person just feeling like there's no, nothing else they can do. Like you've offered them non-stop love and opportunities and they wasted them away. They drank them away. Now this card is really interesting in this deck, this four of cups, because normally there's just one cup being offered where here there's actually three cups being offered. So I feel, and you know, this guy's just taking one and, and drinking it. So I feel like you've actually really allowed this person to get all, uh, unlimited chances with you, okay? And they didn't accept it. They didn't accept it. They were too busy in their own thing. They were too busy worrying about themselves or, or doing their own thing. Maybe for some, they're actually turning to alcohol right now because remember, things are not going this person's way in general. And you know what else I'm getting? That that's part of their mindset. Um, that's part of the reason why nothing's going their way because they're not even focused on what they want exactly or you know they're arguing with themselves. So I mean, yeah, nothing's going their way. So we have the nine of cups and it's really interesting here because I feel like this person acts like everything's okay. This person's worn out. This person, you know, this nine of cups is showing someone who's gained some weight. They're stressed. They probably lost some hair. They're trying to cover that up. This person may be drinking or turning to alcohol, uh, just trying to act like everything's okay. If this person has children around them or others, it doesn't have to be children. It could be like at their work. They're just like, oh, Johnny and and Sammy, don't worry about me. I'm just going to go over here and pour a drink or something like that. Like, there's people worried about this person right now. They may not know exactly what's going on. I think this person is actually going through a run of, I don't want to say bad luck, but like, not failures, just a downtime in their life, right? So let's see what else is happening with this. It's pretty interesting. At least that will eventually end. So this person, I think that there's people watching this person. It's interesting. This is an ongoing message. Um, but I also see this person 
getting ready to make a change, okay? Getting ready to stand up, uh, maybe bring you a gift that's very possible or at least possibly reach out. We're gonna have to clarify that. Look what's at the bottom, the lovers and the four of cups. I mean, the four of wands and the lovers. So it's very possible this person will get this like um, resurrection of energy and come towards you. The emperor in this card is standing up and it looks like after an ending. And what that ending may be is this sad energy that this person's in. They may get their stuff together and be like, you know what? I got to get out there. I got to go and visit this person that loves me so dearly. So I'm just going to take the top card, but I will reference this. Um, there's no other love like yours. This is the Knight of Cups. And in this, I feel like this is this person realizing what they've lost, what they've let go of, or how they, they've ruined something so precious. In this Knight of Cups, the woman is actually there to help him no matter what. And for your energy, I feel like you're coming out as a very high priestess, very healing, loving um, energy here. There's so much love from you. I think you're very patient with this person and you always have been. However, for some reason, this person thinks you moved on and maybe some of you have, okay? So let's see. The Three of Swords, yeah, this person, I don't know if they've healed from something, if they finally realize something, like they need to come forward. Maybe you've healed from something and you've moved on. It's very possible. But the nice thing about this Three of Swords is there's no more pain here. I mean, the pain's gonna happen if you know something doesn't change here, but technically, it's not there anymore. The pain is over. It's time to move forward and listen to this person's instincts. That's what it's time for them to do. And you're not going to believe what card that is. And I have to get it. That's okay. Because I said, this person has to listen to their instincts and we have the high priestess. And that is all, all about listening with the owl here to the instincts of this person. Okay. Um, interesting. So let's do some clarification and let's see what else is coming up here. Let's get an overall energy for your person. Look at guilt is what came out here. It, it, this person is getting pushed by guilt, right? To either complete something or to move forward or to wake the F up. Literally, this person is in their mind. What is your energy? You know, let's see what you're up to. For the viewer, oh my gosh, we got the nine of swords here. And you know, there's some sadness here. Um, it's interesting because you're basically both in a very similar energy when it comes to thinking about each other. This has gone on for too long. Whatever has been happening here, this two of cups is just, it's, I hear, sickening. Like someone is just so fed up with it. They want their person back in their life. They don't want to play this game anymore. Um, you know, if you're a female, it could be you that's feeling really angry here with all these thoughts taking over it could be this person feeling the sorrow whatever it is this is the energy you both have here i see that there's a lot of clearing of mental um, sadness a transformation is needed here for sure wow that's really heavy okay so let's get another card here and just see what comes up so we have the Galactica, and i do feel that things are going to be moving in this situation because we have transportation here um, finances could be an issue as well. So this, you both could be going through that, or that could be what's keeping you two from seeing eye to eye at this moment for some reason. Um, but with the Galactica, I just feel, you know, there's a, there's higher elements in store here. And it's interesting because I feel like right out that window or that space, there's the Galactica energy. So there's something else here shining down on this situation that's going to, I want to say, positively interfere with things, okay? And you may know that already. This person has to listen to their instincts. That's the major message here. So let's get a message. I realize my lack of action hurt your feelings. I am sorry, let's get one more. You mean the world to me. I want to do everything I can to show you. I actually feel like that could be your energy and theirs is about the lack of action because I feel like you've given so much to this person and you just wanted to show them like you're here for them. You love them. You want to be there with them. So very interesting. Let's get one card from this beautiful love deck and see what comes out here. Okay. Don't make decisions based on guilt or what you think you should do for it's only in being true to yourself that you can be true to others. So yeah, this person may have been like told, oh, you can't be with that person. You shouldn't go there. They don't want you. You shouldn't bug them. And the truth is, 
yes, you should. If you feel like you need to contact someone and you need to get, you know, you need to ruffle some feathers, you need to do what you need to do. So hopefully this person's coming to that understanding, right? Let's see what else we get. What's this? Look inside yourself. Yeah, I do feel like this person is definitely coming to that understanding. Acceptance is the key to inner peace. At times we must accept things as they are. There's no point trying to change the world. And I didn't even see this card over here and it's manifesting miracles. Your dream is about to become a reality. Trust your heart and continue to follow its guidance. So guys, I hope you're doing well. If you want to check out my website, book a reading, and it is in Canadian dollars. The same. Anyhow, bye for now, guys. Thank you so much. Have a beautiful, beautiful week ahead, and I will see you again. I'm actually thinking about doing uh, live tonight in an all sign reading to see what this person's thoughts, feelings, and actions are for each sign live. Let me know what you think of that. I hope to see you there. It'll probably be around seven, maybe eight. I'll let you know. Bye for now.